I have become the best known sport flooring contractor in the world, and I'm just getting started. Hello, this is Paul Nelson with Western Sport Floors, Wyoming Wood Floors. I am the operations manager, the sales manager with this company coming to you from Missoula, Montana today. Talking Jim Floor Sanders. American 12 Jim Floor Sanders. We own hundreds, perhaps thousands of tools here, but there is no question. This is my number one most favorite tool that we ever use. The amount of work that this thing can accomplish throughout the course of a day uh, in our industry is incredible. It was a game changer when Floor Sot Style developed this machine in the early 90s. We have continued to make some refinements to it over the years. I'm going to share some of those with you today. I by no means think that we're there or that these are the final refinements, but there's some of the things that we've been doing to this machine up to this point. I'll share them with you. If you have some that you've done, I'd love to see them as well. The first thing we did is reworked this face plate. The old face plate held uh, the plug cup, a switch, and uh, cords for the jumper to run your rider. It was just too much, in our opinion, for that electrical box. So we reworked our electrical box. We put an LED readout in the electrical box. I have this machine plugged in at the shop here for three phase power. You can see that I have 215 volts at the handle. 215 volts at the handle. So the next thing I'll share with you when we reworked this power box, we put in a really strong three phase switch. You hear that thing, it's got a really nice positive click to it. When you buy these machines brand new today, they have a circuit breaker switch in them which was never meant to power that machine on and off, I'm told that circuit breaker switch fails on a really regular basis. These things will last years. Good, strong, three-phase switch. Next thing we did is put on a Baldor Super E 10 horse three-phase motor. This motor, the frame, in case you're interested, this is a 213T. 213T is in Tom. You'll see it fits this machine really well. The side of the machine is actually past the motor, so the motor sits on that machine really well. If you go and buy a brand new one of these machines today for whatever reason, I don't know, they use a smaller diameter motor that hangs way over the edge of the machine. It makes it nearly impossible to get up to the walls. You'll notice on this machine, I also have uh, our hitch system that we're going to talk about in a little bit. But the machine on the other side won't have this hitch. So with that machine, you're still able to hug right up against the walls with the bleachers. The next thing that we'll talk about is the fan housing and, uh, and, and the dust pan on this machine. When it came originally in the 1950s, they just put a little nut and a bolt through there, but it's really difficult to get at. So we've actually taken this, uh, put an additional little piece of aluminum there and threaded it. And so then we're able to just thread in a socket headed cap screw. It's still not very convenient to get at. It sits on top of the, right under the motor and you gotta re reach your hand in, but it's a lot easier when you just have that socket head cap screw. Another little thing that I'd like to talk about that's worked really well for us is we reworked the belt tensioner. This is the fan belt tensioner. Just had a machine shop make us a couple fittings. We run the belt directly over a couple of bearings. The bearings are 6202s, which happen to be the same bearings as the drum bearing. So you're already, you already should have drum bearings with you in case you lose a drum bearing. Same exact bearing on your fan belt tightener. Finally, let's go over real briefly. I've, I've been over this once before, but we made this little front hitch apparatus. 
It has been just invaluable to us holding those machines absolutely straight back and forth going down the gymnasium. I have a complete rear hitch system that we developed. These are things that anybody could develop on their own, especially when I've, when I've shown them to you on the video. The one thing that this offers is that you see these pins here, they're all threaded. You can get these machines to actually tow in slightly. You'll find that they track much straighter down the gym and back, down the gym and back. What happens with the old floor style system that attaches only to the rear of the machines, if you tow them in and you, when you reverse they want to open up and then you squirrel all the way back and it's, it takes a lot of effort from the operator to keep that machine going straight all the way back. All right, finally, let's talk power. Power has been something that's always been a challenge to us. Let's face it, you need three-phase power. You really shouldn't be going into a three-phase power box in a school or a municipal facility and hooking it up yourself. Typically, when we send out an estimate, we ask the owners of the facility to provide us power. But if we don't have what they need to hook us up with power until we get there, then we end up waiting for an electrician and sometimes you can shoot a half a day or sometimes more waiting for that electrician to come and hook you up with power. Well, we've discovered the flat rate box from the U.S. Postal Service. This past year we had great success putting a pair of pigtails in a flat rate box telling the facility owners that we need three phase 30 amp power on each one of those pigtails. We get there, the power's hooked up, it is just a matter of getting the equipment in the gym and we are sanding. Alright? I hope some of these little things that we shared with you today were helpful. If there's anything we're doing here that interests you, I can be reached Paul at wyomingwoodfloors.com Western Sport Floors at Instagram. Or if you're somebody that thinks you've got what it takes, Become a craftsman after the order of the builders of the Egyptian pyramids, the Roman Colosseums, and the Great Wall of China. Traveling throughout the Rocky Mountain West doing gym floors is interesting to you. You go ahead and call me personally, Paul Nelson, at area code 406-549-1900. You make a great day.